working on a game where you are a stick figure, and it's a platformer, and you have to fight your way through aliens, robots, and zombies. Now at the end, there's going to be a boss that is the mi that is a mixture of alien, robot, and zombies. Once you go near an uh, enemy, it, you sort of lock on to it. There is this website for stick figure games called Stick Page, and I think I could give it to them if this turns out to be really good. Here. Now, you don't need to play your game for years, but please, by all means, play your game more. Write down ideas, try out ideas, explore your game. Take that and that, play two U threes and three threes, discard eight. And that was unfair. Why? Alright, someone tell me about play sequence. What is the play sequence of the game? Uh, the, an example we did was Monopoly. Like, yeah, you roll the dice, you move that amount, uh, you draw a card if it's necessary. How hard the game is. This can be based off of a few factors, like you know, how difficult the enemy is or how difficult the challenge is. Pace is the, uh, is the speed of the game. Maybe Boggle is fast and chess is slow. Competitive is just about winning. You're trying to defeat this guy or get there first before this guy or whatever. At the beginning of the game, you're just starting off. You don't have that much equipment. And then once you get to like near the final stages, you're already like... You progress, you learn. Yeah. Interface design, basically like the process of designing what's going to communicate the information to the player. For multiplayer? Uh, co-op games, teams, so uh, many sport teams. Football, soccer, uh, dodgeball is a big one. I need everyone who does not have a working prototype to come see me. Basically, it's a two-team or two-player like battle. You stand about five or ten feet back and you throw a poker chip onto like the board. Say it lands on that right there. So you flip it over, you see that it's a five of hearts. If it's a heart, then you get healed for that amount of health. But if you land on, say, I think this one's... Yep, if you land on, say, a spade, you deal double the amount of damage. I used to take robotics, so that was a big part of me, like, starting to work into game design because I had to program, like, robots to do certain things. I'm going to run see what yours is about. Uh, I'm going to lose this map. The game idea is that there's three teams and they're each battling to destroy the object of the other two teams before theirs gets destroyed. So you could actually make up your own real version of this and let physics be your guide. Here's my question. So you've got a board. How do you, how do you control movement? And I guess what I mean is, do you want to like draw spaces to, to represent, okay, I can move like this far on a given turn? That, I, that's why I don't like this game. I mean, I like the game, but I hate the game. That's why I wanted the perfection board. Oh, my. As high schoolers, you don't really get interacted in school anymore. You're mostly just sitting there getting lectured, occasional labs. If you add like a game design element into school, you get a brain exercise. It's a really stimulating experience that you have.